This YouTube channel, Fern, is quietly making $30,000 to $100,000 every month, and you've probably already watched one of their videos. They create cinematic 3D documentary style content, and nearly every upload pulls in millions of views. And here's the wild part. This niche has almost no competition. Take Atrium, for example. They've posted just six videos and already have over 250,000 subscribers. According to vidIQ, that's earning them $4,000 to $11,000 a month from ads alone. Now, you're probably thinking you need a huge animation team, expensive software, and a massive budget, right? But I recreated this exact documentary style using just one AI tool. It began with a single message over a crackling radio. Can you hear me? They're in the vault. But when police rushed through London's quiet Baker Street, they found nothing. In the next 10 minutes, I will show you the complete ADZ blueprint no one else is showing. Let's dive in. First, let's make your video just as addictive as the Fern channel. It all starts with two things, a killer title and an engaging script. For this, we'll use ChatGPT. I've already done the hard work for you. I created the perfect free prompts all linked in the description. First up, let's get that viral title. Copy the title prompt from the description and paste it into ChatGPT. When you hit generate, it'll give you 10 explosive title ideas that are actually working on YouTube right now. Your job? Pick the one that makes you think, I have to click on that. Once you have your title, it's time to build the script. Grab the second script prompt and paste it into ChatGPT. In the topic section, paste your chosen title. For video length, I recommend 8 to 10 minutes. That's what the algorithm loves. But for this example, I set it to 2 minutes. Hit generate and watch as ChatGPT creates a perfectly structured, engaging script in the exact Fern style. Now, let's bring it to life. In that same ChatGPT chat, copy the image and animation prompt I provided and paste it at the bottom. Hit enter. ChatGPT will prompt you for a few details. Here's exactly what to do. In the title field, paste your chosen title. For a number of images, I'll type 20. That's the sweet spot for a two minute video. And in the script field, paste your complete script. Once you hit generate, you'll get a full breakdown, a cinematic image prompt, a smooth animation direction, and even a sound cue for every single scene in your video. Now, all 20 scene prompts are ready. Time to turn them into real visuals. And for that, we're using Kling AI. I've tried nearly every AI video tool out there, and Kling consistently delivers the best results for this cinematic documentary style. I've put the link in the description for you. Go ahead and sign up. They offer free credits so you can test it out. Once you're in, click AI Image Generator in the left menu. And make sure you select the 2.1 model. It's the newest version, and it gives you the sharpest, most detailed output. Now, go back to ChatGPT and copy the very first image prompt it generated. Head over to Kling, paste that prompt into the field, and set your aspect ratio to 16 by 9. That's the standard widescreen format for YouTube. I like to generate four images per prompt because it gives me more variety and makes it much easier to find the perfect shot. Finally, make sure you select the high resolution option so your images come out sharp and clear. Then hit generate. The AI will now create your images. Honestly, the results are impressive. They really capture that documentary style atmosphere we're after. For my video, this one here looks the best. Now, you'll repeat this exact same process for every single image prompt from ChatGPT. Copy one, paste it into Kling and generate, then move on to the next. Just repeat this for every single prompt. Once you're done, you'll have all the images for your video. Now we're animating every scene. Just hover over your first image and click generate video when it pops up. That takes you straight to the video creation section. First thing, make sure you're on Kling 2.5 Turbo. It's the newest model and it just gets motion and detail way better than the older ones. Now go back to ChatGPT and grab the animation prompt for that first scene. Then paste it into Kling's prompt box. This tells the AI exactly how you want everything to move. Next, click DeepSeek to automatically improve your prompt. Once it's enhanced, just hit Use Prompt and you're all set. Now, for sound, Kling actually comes with built-in sound effects, which is super handy. But if you want that perfect custom feel, just paste in the sound effect prompt from ChatGPT. Set the duration to five seconds. It's the sweet spot that keeps viewers engaged without feeling rushed. Then just hit Generate, 
and you'll get a complete high quality video with sound. See, this doesn't even look like it was made by AI. Now just download your finished video and save it in a dedicated folder. This keeps everything organized as you build your project. All right, our first scene is done. Now let's create the second one. Just do the exact same thing. Click on your second image, hit generate video, then copy the animation prompt for scene two from ChatGPT and paste it in. Set the duration to five seconds again and hit generate. Just repeat this process for every single image, one by one until you've turned all your scenes into animated video clips. Now, if you really want to level up your storytelling, you can use Kling's start and end frame control. This killer feature lets you create smooth, cinematic transitions between two totally different images. Just remember, to use this, you must select the 2.1 model. It doesn't work on 2.5 Turbo yet. Here's a perfect example. For the script line, yet beneath their feet, a tunnel stretched toward a bank filled with millions, I want to transition from police officers checking the vault down to the thieves crawling away underground. So I'll upload the police image as the start frame and the thieves and tunnel image as the end frame. Then I add a short action prompt. I ran that prompt through DeepSeek to polish it. Just click use prompt when it's enhanced. Set the duration to 10 seconds this time and hit generate. And look at that transition. Insane, right? This is what makes your video feel cinematic, not just a slideshow of clips. Now that all our scenes are generated and before we move to editing, Let's talk about cost, because this is where Kling really wins. You can start for just $7 a month, but to really see the value, let's break down a $1,000 budget. With Kling, that gets you over 219 minutes of HD video. Now, compare that to tools like Veo or LumaRay 3, that same $1,000 might only get you 18 to 58 minutes. That means Kling gives you up to 11 times more content for your money. When you break it down, it costs about 7.5 cents per second on Kling. Other platforms can charge up to 88 cents per second. So a five minute video that costs $264 elsewhere costs just $22.50 on Kling. You can make 10 videos for the price of one. That's the difference. Now the next step is narration. We're creating the voiceover. I'll start with the hook script. I copy it and bring it into Eleven Labs, hands down the best AI voice generator right now. Once you're in, go to the instant speech section, paste your script, and take a look at the voice options. They all sound great, but for this project, I prefer Lucius. It fits the documentary vibe. I'll select that voice and hit generate. Once the voiceover is ready, preview it, choose the version you like, and download it. Now do the same for the rest of your script, piece by piece. Generate each section separately, then save all of the audio files in one folder so everything stays organized. Now with that done, it's time to assemble everything. Open your video editor, CapCut, Premiere, whatever you use. Uh, I'm using CapCut for this. Simply drag and drop all your video clips onto the timeline first. Arrange them in order, one by one, until every clip is added. Then, drag your voiceover track to the bottom timeline. Line it up with the visuals, making sure each clip matches the narration. Finally, add some eerie background music to tie it all together, and your video is complete. It began with a single message over a crackling radio. Can you hear me? They're in the vault. But when police rushed through London's quiet Baker Street, they found nothing. No alarms, no chaos just silence. Yet beneath their feet, a tunnel stretched toward a bank filled with millions. How did a group of thieves dig their way into one of Britain's most secure vaults without anyone knowing? Wow, it came out incredibly well. The visuals stay tight and consistent from start to finish. The camera movements feel completely natural, like a real documentary. And the voiceover sounds incredibly real, way more authentic than you'd expect from AI. So the video is done, but creating it is only half the battle. Uploading it the right way is what makes it go viral. First, go to YouTube. If you don't have a channel yet, no worries. I've got a full tutorial linked in the description showing you exactly how to set one up in minutes. Once you're in, upload your video. While it's processing, we're going to fill in all the details that actually move the needle. Start with the title. 
go back to ChatGPT and copy the viral title you chose at the very beginning and paste it right into the title field. Next, your thumbnail. This is everything. It's the first thing people see in their feed, and if it doesn't grab them in half a second, they'll scroll right past. So here's how to make a killer one. Copy the thumbnail prompt I gave you, paste it into ChatGPT, and add your video title to it. Hit generate, and it'll give you a custom 3D render style image prompt. Now, take that prompt over to Google's Nano Banana, paste it in, and hit generate. You'll get a bold, high contrast, click worthy thumbnail. Download it, then upload it in the thumbnail section of YouTube Studio. Next, description and tags. This tells YouTube what your video is about. Use my description and tags prompt in ChatGPT, paste in your title, and it will generate everything you need. Copy that description into YouTube, then scroll down. Two critical settings. Set made for kids to no, and set contains altered content to yes since we used AI. Keep scrolling to the tag section and paste all the tags ChatGPT gave you. This helps YouTube recommend your video to the right people. Finally, in the visibility tab, don't publish now. Instead, schedule it. Set it to go live between 2 and 4 p.m. Eastern Time. This is when YouTube traffic is highest, giving your video the best chance to get that initial push from the algorithm. Hit schedule and you are officially done. You've just created and launched a professional viral ready documentary. And I'll say it again. If you create quality content like this, the algorithm has no choice but to push it. Stay consistent with this formula because your next video, that could be the one that blows up.